hey y'all hey y'all hey y'all welcome to my channel and welcome back if you ain't new <laughs> welcome to all my new people so y'all this is something different that i wanted to incorporate into my channel because i gotta tell y'all about the craziness of what goes on for me and it's called wig chronicles wig wig chronicles it's the theme song wig chronicles wig wig chronicles so welcome to season one episode one of wig chronicles what's wig chronicles well wig chronicles is telling you about the crazy little mishaps that i have with my wigs y'all y'all have y'all ever heard the saying secure the wig i never secure the wig i think i am thoroughly against secure the wig and i don't know why mainly because i don't want to tear up these edges and then two i'm lazy and we just gonna call a spade a spade i'm lazy i just slap the wig on my head and i go not even worried not even concerned about it. if it falls off if it does this if it does that i don't know why i do that but i do and so these stories will be about me basically not securing the wig okay and i have so many stories already like i said i have a whole season for y'all i have a whole season one for y'all so we're gonna start off tonight with episode one of season one what can we call season one because season one needs needs uh, um like you know how on if you watch insecure they have like a low key like low key is this season's like name so it'll be like low key something low key da, 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 da. you know what i'm saying so this needs to be um this season gonna be called hot wig okay so hot wig something so episode one is hot wig toilet bowl y'all so let's go ahead and get into this story okay so y'all i mean get y'all a little drink it ain't gonna be long but get y'all a little drink because you may need a little shot after i finish telling you this story so i online shop y'all know what i do i shop so this is what i do so i online shop and um uh i live in an apartment and i don't trust my packages to be delivered here because if they're too large they need to go to the office and i don't get off in time to get my package from the office the same day and i'd be too excited about my packages to wait and then sometimes they drop them at your door so just imagine you in an apartment and it's kind of close over here and you got a big macy's box of course somebody gonna steal it something now it's not happening the only thing that i send here is stuff that can i know that can fit in my mailbox and uh, Amazon Prime and I always um, make sure I order it on a day to where I know I'm gonna be home when they deliver it you know what I mean but anyway so most of the time I send my packages to work because it's like a cute little surprise little pick me up you know when I get a package at work so this was about I guess going on four years ago now because I was prepping for my 30th birthday so I had a dive in movie party and it was so cute and I loved it. So my friend had this really cute swimsuit. It was peplum and y'all know how I feel about peplum and it was yellow and it was just everything. So she told me where she got it. So I ordered it online and I had it sent to my job. So it had gotten there, <laughs> even though, you know, I said I want to get my packages that day, but it had gotten there the day before. So when I arrived to work that morning, the package was in my chair um, by my desk. So I was excited. Like, ah, I can't even wait. I can't wait. I have to go try this on now to see how it looks. So I go to the restroom the upstairs restroom no one is there during the week because like i say I, i'm an event um manager or whatever special events i do special events sales manager so um we have two floors in our building the downstairs that's normally used more because there's the grill and there's golf and so upstairs is just our offices and event spaces. So it's not really anything being done up there during the week, just on the weekend. So anyway, 
and I'm the only female manager in the offices upstairs. So basically the upstairs restroom is basically my restroom at this point. So I'm like, let me go in my restroom and try on my swimsuit. So I get in there, I'm thinking I do this all the time. No thoughts to it, never had an incident or anything at that point. So I'm in the handicap stall because it's bigger, you know, so you can have a little space. So the dress that I had on on that day didn't have a zipper, didn't have buttons or anything. So it's literally a, a pull on, pull off dress. So I hang up, you know, my swimsuit on the little hook and I proceed to take off my dress. So as I'm taking the dress off over my head, I go, whew, my wig comes off, ricochets, swap, pop, 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 pop. The tips go into the toilet and flop, come back around like, <sighs> have you ever seen people that put, put their head in the water and they come back up so they, 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 the head, the, the water can come off the head and it's all cute in the picture. That's what my wig did from out the toilet. So it hit, it, it said flop, then it says flop. And so all the water is coming out. I mean, if I would have took a picture of it, it would have been perfect. You know, it just boom. And it's on the floor. Y'all, I'm, I'm in my underwear. I'm screaming and hollering, ah! running to the sink in my underwear now mind you even though no one is up there during the week this is still a public restroom so anyone can come in at any time to do anything i'm rushing stat stat i gotta do you know emergency 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 wash on my wig so i'm i'm in the i'm in the sink why well, i'm hot i don't know why i'm hollering and so me hollering and screaming would draw more attention for people to run in and I'm in my own underwear. I, yeah, I don't know why I was doing this, but I'm hollering because I'm like, ah, my wig hit the toilet. You know what I'm saying? Like I have some raggedy, like Coolio mixed with D'Angelo braids, no wig cap. So I can't move out of this restroom until I put this wig back on. <sighs> Y'all, oh my God. So I'm screaming and hollering, just rinsing, and, and now I'm drying, I'm drying the wig. And then all of a sudden, I just started crying, laughing. This was the funniest thing ever. <laughs> like, I could not stop. Like, I had, I'm just gonna call a spade a spade. I had my pure black people laugh. Oh, you know how black people laugh when they just run everywhere and they just, just acting a fool because they laughing so hard. I'm crying laughing. Oh my God. So I'm letting the wig dry off and I try my swimsuit because I'm here for a purpose. And the purpose is to see if the swimsuit fits. You know what I'm saying? Swimsuit is bad. Swimsuit is on point. You know what I'm saying? So now, I'm like, oh my God, I got to put this wig back on my head and I can't go home because I just got here. What am I going to tell them why I'm going home? You know what I'm saying? I don't want to tell them that my wig hit the toilet. You know what I'm saying? So I'm in the restroom. I put back on my dress. The wig is drying. And so I'm like, okay, this is too funny to keep inside. You know what I'm saying? So I made a video. I made a video for my friends, <laughs> for my friends that I knew would get a kick out of it and make their day a y'all. I sent that video and it made their entire day. I still have that video. I'm gonna put the video on at the end of this video. It made their entire day. And like y'all, this is these are just it's just the story of my life. Like I love it. Like I love when crazy things happen to me like this because it's always a laughing matter. You can you can never take life that serious to where you couldn't laugh at that so but with that being said yeah i had to put back on that wig and wear it the rest of the day so now i got a toilet bowl wig head did i wash my hair after i got home did i throw the wig away i threw the wig away did i wash my hair no nasty <laughs> but like i told you i was just the tips it was just the tips so should i have thrown that dress away probably but i washed it <laughs> I washed that. I didn't wash my hair, but I washed that. <laughs> so, 
So y'all just call me toilet bowl wig head. But I always spread love through telling that story because it's hilarious. Who wig fall in the toilet and have the symmetry of the hair ricocheting like the, you know, the picture, like coming out. I just wish there was a camera there. I really do. So y'all, that's it. <laughs> That was Wig Chronicles Season 1, Episode 1. What I said? God dang it. I done forgot the episode name already. Hot Wig. There you go. Hot Wig Toilet Bowl Wig. Boom. That, that's, that's Episode 1. <laughs> I hope y'all like Episode 1 of Season 1. Man. Wig Chronicles. Wig, Wig Chronicles. That's the theme song. Wig Chronicles. Wig, wig, chronicle. Ooh, you heard that, girl. <laughs> Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe because this, it, this gonna be a hot season of Wig Chronicles. I'm telling y'all, it's gonna be a hot season. So stick around, stay tuned for Wig Chronicles. Um, but you might see me next in the store and stuff like that because I be in these stores. So <laughs> until episode two. See y'all next time. <laughs> so I just received in the mail my swimsuit for my birthday party. So I proceed to try it on. So I go into that stall way down there. I close the door and I took off my necklace. And then as I'm taking off my dress, my wig flies off and falls in the toilet. And it, I screamed. And I laughed and I laughed and screamed some more and then I took my wig to the sink to rinse it off and dry it as much as possible so I can put it back on my head and get to work. So now I'm a toilet bowl wig head and I just hope I made your day. Bye.